The yearly cost T in thousands of dollars of tuition and required fees at a private college, and this includes two and four year schools and does not include room and board, can be approximated by the equation T equals 0.7N plus 7.8, where N is the number of years since 1990. That is, N equals 0 corresponds to 1990, N equals 5 corresponds to 1995, and so on. Find the cost of tuition in 1990, in 1996, in 2005, and in 2010. Well, let's consider 1990 first. Remember our equation is T equals 0.7N plus 7.8. Now in 1990, n is equal to zero. n is the number of years since 1990. So we would substitute zero for n. This is zero, so I have t is equal to 7.8. And that tells us then that the tuition was 7.8 thousand dollars or we could write this as $7,800. In 1996, what is N? Well, 1996 is six years after 1990, so N is equal to six, and we'll substitute six for N in the equation. And when we do this computation, we have uh, 4.2 plus 7.8, which is 12. So that tells us that the tuition in 1996 was $12,000. Or we could write it this way. Now let's look at 2005. 2005 is 15 years after 1990. 2005 minus 1990 is 15. So we have n equals 15. And the tuition T is going to be given by 0 0.7 times 15 plus 7.8. 0 0.7 times 15 is 10.5. And when we do this addition, then we get 18.3. And that tells us that the tuition in 2005 was $18.3,000. Or we can write it this way, 18,300. And the last year that we're to look at is 2010. 2010 is 20 years after 1990, so we have n equals 20. And substituting in the equation, we have t equals 0 0.7 times 20 plus 7.8. 0 0.7 times 20 is 14. So we have 21.8, and that tells us that the tuition is projected to be $21,800, or we can write it as $21,800. Now we'll graph the equation, and then use the graph to estimate the cost of tuition in 2015. We found some points in uh, the earlier part of this exercise. We found the point 0, 07.8, so I'll graph that right about here. We found the point 6.12. We found the point 15, 18.3. And we also found the point 20, 21.8. Now, if I've put these points where they belong, I should be able to connect them with a straight line. And this is the graph of the equation. T equals 0 0.7 N plus 7.8. And we're asked to estimate the cost of tuition in the year 2015. Now remember, n is the number of years after 1990, so 2015 
is 25 years after 1990. So we'll locate 25 on the horizontal axis and go up to the graph. And it looks like the point there is just a little bit above 25. And we'll estimate it at 25.3. So we would say that the tuition in 2015 would be 2.3 thousand dollars or we could write twenty five thousand three hundred dollars predict the year in which the cost of tuition will be twenty eight thousand eight hundred dollars well we have our equation t is equal to zero point seven n plus seven point eight and we're asking now um, what is n when the tuition is $28,800? These numbers in the equation are given in terms of thousands, so $28,800 is 28.8 thousands, and we'll substitute that for t, and then we'll solve for n. Subtracting 7.8 on both sides of the equation gives me 21 equals 0.7n, and when I divide both sides by 0 0.7, I have 30 is equal to n. Now, n is the number of years after 1990. So we would say that we would predict that the tuition will be $28,800 30 years after 1990. Or in the year 2000. 20.